Hey guys, this is 3D Maximus. Welcome to my channel and my first video is going to be a tutorial about a simple chair modeling. I will show you two different ways of doing it. So uh, the first is going to be in this video and for the second one I will make another video. So uh, let's get started. So we're going to do a simple chair. So we're going to need a box. And everything is going to be made of boxes eventually, but uh, the dimension of the box is going to be the length 5 centimeters, the width also 5 centimeters, and the height exactly 40 centimeters. Now we're going to need to move that right to the center and copy that. Just a simple copy. So on the x-axis, on the first object, we're going to set minus 20 centimeters to move it to the left bit. And on the other one, we're going to set right, uh, the direct opposite, 20 centimeters. So we have that uh, distance, the exact, the exact distance. We're going to make another copy for the back legs of the chair. So. I want the distance to be somewhere about 40, maybe 42 centimeters. That's about it. That's good. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to convert it to editable poly. Select the polygon mode. Just a second, let me turn the edge faces. And uh, we're going to select this polygon on the top of it and delete it. Then we're going to select the edge mode and all the four edges. Select all the four edges. Uh, we're going to use the side viewport from the right side. And uh, by holding shift, we're going to drag upwards. And I think that's about enough. And now we use shift and drag it a bit to the back just to make it look like a, a comfortable chair, let's see. So, uh, actually this is the end result. You see, a bit tilted to the back. Uh, then we're going to select the border, the selected by border, and cap it. So that's about it. Now, we're going to also make the copy of this. Then we're going to set the uh, x-axis on minus 20 and that's good now now we're going to make another box another box the length of the box is going to be let's say about 35 centimeters for now the width 5 and the height also 5 and uh, we need to set this between these two oops sorry between these two. So how are we going to do that? If we get the x and the y axis straight to zero, we get it right in the center of the world. But we need it to go 20 centimeters on the x axis and uh, somewhere about 21 maybe yes 21 on the y-axis but we need to make it bigger a bit so it's 35 we're going to make it like 37 and uh, that's perfect yeah that's enough we're gonna make another copy of it okay and uh, we're gonna set it on minus 20 on the x axis the z axis is going to be uh, 35 so we set it straight with this because the pivot is on the ground actually of this object, not in the center. Also, this one is going to be the Z35, uh, 35 on the Z axis. And uh, we now have uh, something that actually looks like a chair. Also, we're going to need another box. For the front, we're going to move that right 
in the middle now so the dimensions are again the length is 5 and the height is 5 but the width is 35 centimeters and uh, I, I think that is perfect yes that is perfect that is very really nice and we're gonna need one in the back so now for this one the x-axis equals 0 the y-axis also equals 0 so it's the center of the road but the z-axis is 35 centimeters but to this guy we need to put it to uh, this one at 42 so also this one is at 42 centimeters on the y-axis and uh, 35 centimeters in height so that's here we go now we have our chair actually we're gonna make another copy and for this this is going to be where we actually rest our back so right now I need a side view um, how are we gonna make this the length is going to be 4.5 centimeters so we can actually put it right like this the height is going to be somewhere around 20 centimeters so maybe somewhere like this I'm going to put it on y-axis on 44 centimeters and uh, let's see now we need to rotate it a bit let's see the angle snap is 5 and we want to set it at 1 degree and total angle snap and uh, rotate this guy to the desired angle so this uh, about 4 degrees would make actually we make it so we put it somewhere like this um, I don't like this <laughs> I don't really like this so I'm gonna make this like 3 centimeters I'm gonna get it somewhere right here uh, set the angle snap on 0 0.5 degrees and let's try now. Ah, that's more like it. So now we'll just move it a little bit to the back. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna make it 4.5 centimeters again. I'm gonna set it like it was before. Something like this. And that should be good enough. Now let's see, we have our chair and now we have to do something to sit on. For this I'm going to use the top viewport and uh, I'm going to make a plane. <coughs> so the plane is roughly something like this. I'm going to set it on the x, on the x axis and in the middle. This is going to be like also 21 centimeter, just like this on the side. Um, and now we have to set the dimensions. The length somewhere about 45, maybe. No, maybe more. 47. Let's see. Yeah, 47 looks good. And the width, the width is going to be 45, actually. Yes, so now we have to make the segments 9 by 9 and now we'll see why actually. So set the Z axis on 40 centimeters and isolate the selection. Now we're going to convert it to editable poly and select it by, uh, by polygon. 
these two polygons so the two in the backs that uh, sit in the chair we're going to delete them and now we're going into modifier list and add the shell modifier the outer amount I'm gonna make it somewhere around maybe 4 ah, 3.5 centimeters that, that should be good enough now let's see oops isolate yeah 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 that's good that's good enough we're going to collapse that yes make it editable poly again and now we need to chamfer these edges just slightly I'm not going to chamfer anything else I'm not going to smooth anything else just these edges these three edges actually so I'm going to keep it simple and like a boxy chair so 1.5 centimeters and I'd say like four five segments five segments is even more than enough but it would look good so now we actually have our we actually have our last uh, final product so this is what the chair would actually look like so maybe I'll move this guy somewhere a bit higher maybe yeah let's see something like this yeah no. Put to the back let's see if we make that right yeah something like this yeah yeah it's more likely I like it better like this so now we have to add some materials and we're done so I have just the right thing let me see it's uh, it's this one and I'm gonna use that one because I like it and also oops, Never mind. I'm going to use. I'm going to use. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use this texture for the seat. So this is for the seat, and then we have this whole selection, which we're going to add this material to assign to selection ok and now let's see what we have just let me make a bigger image and render and here we have a chair part we have a few anomalies so you see how these legs are stretched and this thing I don't know what this, what this is called but it's a lot of stretching so what can we do about it at first we're going to select the C and we're going to add we're going to add the unlock UVW modifier open UV editor and under explode menu we're going to flatten by polygon angle so that would make us look like this now this is way better than it was before right so we're, we're done with the seat we're gonna collapse all yes now let's see what do we have to do actually so we have to fix the legs now okay I'm going to start by this one and also we're going to use the unwrap UVW on every single one and I'm doing this, this one, one by one because I actually wanted to fix it to look like this and it's much easier for me to do it this way than some other way so I'm going to collapse this now let's see what can we do about this guy unwrap open the editor and now let's just check it 
I think it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Way, way better. Okay. Grab some. Yes. I will go ahead and do this. Alright. Movie editor. Explode. Escape. Collapse all. Yes. And you just have to repeat these steps for every single object. Because I want to go easy to it. Just not, not like make them all. I just want to go on the wall. Why? Because this could happen. Now, you see the difference between this random, uh, this material. In this material now we have what we have to do for the, to fix this is actually select all these guys and go ahead and make the five degree angle snap snap selected rotate rotate select all and rotate about 90 degrees and then you just move it back into the square and voila we're done actually yeah, that's fine that that looks good actually so where we stop right now we collapse this yes and we also do the same thing with this object Open new UW editor, explode flat by polygon, select all, rotate 90 degrees, and move to the box. So now let's see how we progress. I see that's something even better, but I'm going to take this selection and set it somewhere like this just to see if we can escape like this see we have that before now we don't have it don't like it on both legs the same so now collapse yes we have two more selections to unwrap and we're done let's see Just check it real quick. I'm done. And then we collapse. Yes, and this will be the last that I will do. The last uh, selection that I will unwrap. And we are actually done. So let's see. And our chair looks wonderful. I like it a lot. So that's it guys for this video. I would like to thank you for watching it. If you like it, go ahead, subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends. And I hope I will see you next time. Peace.